I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable, I tell you. Oh. Whoa! Oh. <gasps> Okay, well hello, it's been seven months and I'm back. Feels good to be back. Sorry for my absence. Uh, there's been a few things going on in my life lately, I guess. Uh, but I wanted to make this video before the new year just to sort of set the scene for the new year, hopefully. Um, and sort of uh, proclaim my return to my YouTube channel to resurrect it. <laughs> I did see that I surpassed 2,000 subscribers during my absence, so thank you all very much for your continued patience and viewership. And uh, this is just a quick video today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed very much. And uh, hopefully there will be a lot more videos to come, more frequently, in the new year as well. And believe me, uh, we have got a lot to get through as well. Okay, so this is Spin Tires, in case you weren't aware, uh, this game's been out for a while now, but it's been getting some pretty constant updates. Just taking this little four-wheel drive from, uh, for a little ride, I guess. Currently on the hill map, it's called the hill. We're going to be driving down from our garage, down these switchbacks the little river crossing here and our objective is basically to get to the garage on the other side and unlock some of those vehicles. The idea then is once those logging vehicles are unlocked we can start gathering some lumber and completing some of the objectives on the map and unlocking more of the map. This is our little Russian four-wheel drive. In the background there you can see as well that uh, there is a rather large uh, bulldozer I guess. Uh, that actually makes an excellent recovery vehicle. I have had the chance to drive that briefly. Uh, but I thought today I'd just take this little four-wheel drive for a spin and just see how far we can get in it. And uh, hopefully we won't run into any trouble and we won't need this thing in the background there. So it's a nice day. It's a nice day, as they say. <laughs> Okay, let's get going, shall we? Now this four-wheel drive does have diff locks, but I'm gonna see if I can get away with not using them this time. I've actually got it in two-wheel drive at the moment as well. Let's just see how far we can get. Okay, looking good so far, done. Excellent, thanks for watching. Just kidding. Already stuck, and I'm not even, uh, yeah, let's engage four-wheel drive. So we've got four-wheel drive going, no diff locks there. Just going to try and straddle the... I'm uh, going to stay off that beaten path there. See if I can just get past through here. I noticed the character animations, animations are really well done as well. Not sure when they got added to spin tires, but uh, they certainly add to the immersion. Doing well so far, come on. Okay, great. Got some tree roots here, should give us some extra traction. Excellent. It's all going swimmingly well so far, I must say. And cross over this little bridge here. Just gonna keep it in four wheel drive for the moment. Got some more tree branches up here. Easy done. Oop, got some deep ruts here. Just gonna try and straddle these ruts again. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable, I tell you. Okay, got a hanger right here, I think. Yes, hanger right, and then a right again. Get us down to the switchbacks. Got some asphalt coming up. 
as soon as I'm through this section I'm gonna switch back to two wheel drive might as well do that now actually okay let's have a look okay two wheel drive okay got some switchbacks here so let's go take it easy Ooh, got some rocks there on the left watch out watch out Quite a drop on the side there, don't want to fall down there. It's not what we want to do. Oh, oh! <gasps> okay, that was not what I wanted to achieve. Definitely not. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. Well, it would be, but uh, we do have the recovery vehicle, <laughs> known as the K700. Let's go and visit the K700 now. <laughs> okay, I really didn't want to have to do this, but I guess I am now, so... Just going to install the grabber attachment there on the back. That allows us to uh, basically tow any vehicles that we need to. I'm gonna listen to this thing purr. Wow. I should have just taken this vehicle from the start. But no, I want it to be different. So this thing's actually front wheel drive by default. Uh, the diffs are locked though, permanently. I'm just going to see if I can get through here with just the front axle driving us. The thing with engaging four-wheel drive is that it actually uses more fuel. And there is fuel modelled in the game as well, as you can see on the uh, fuel gauge there. Currently using about 6 litres per minute. Okay, so... Sorry, just wanted to take a screenshot there. This is such an awesome vehicle. Just want to pause and take it in. <laughs> okay, back to task. It's going to be an interesting recovery, this one. Okay. It's making light work of these tracks, for sure. Okay, we're to hang a right. And then right again. And already we're at the switchbacks in no time at all. Can you believe it? Oh, we've got some speed coming up down here. Oh, we don't want to roll it. Okay, got to work out how we're going to recover the little forward drive now without causing too much damage to it because uh, that's what we don't want. I think I'm just going to turn around and try and pull it back onto its wheels. Oops. Okay, engage the handbrake so it's not going anywhere. Just gonna go into advanced mode. Click on the little grabbing point and then select an area on the four-wheel drive. That sounds about right. It's got auto steering on the four-wheel drive. I'm not gonna bother. That's fine. Okay. Let's see if we can get <laughs> the AI is trying to start the engine in the four-wheel drive to assist us, but of course that's not gonna work. And I'm trying to, uh, the wheels are digging in here, why is it not? Uh, I'll try reversing a bit, hang on. Uh, let's try, it's just not working. Oh, the drive maybe. I really don't want to. Oh, I see. 
my park brakes on. <laughs> uh, okay, try it again. No, I definitely need all wheel drive. This is how not to recover. <laughs> Come on! No, let's try all wheel drive. Park brakes definitely off this time. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. And you can hear the engine start in the four wheel drive. Awesome. Alright. Park brake. Hang on. Park brake on. I'm just going to disconnect the uh, rope. I'm just going to park up this uh, recovery vehicle. I'm just going to leave it here. Excellent. Well, that was a job well done. And we can hear the piddly little engine in the four wheel drive running now. <laughs> okay. Well. That took quite a long time to recover. It's now sunset. So let's see how far we can get. Okay. Turn on the lights. Okay. Now, I know I shouldn't take the shortcuts, but I just love taking shortcuts down these switchbacks like this. Always go down straight, they said. Oh, 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 oh. I have no words. At least this time, the recovery vehicle's just there at the background. <laughs> Let's turn off the headlights. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am. Um, I think I've done some serious damage this time too. I don't know how I'm going to recover this time. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, hello again. <laughs> this seems a bit familiar. <laughs> I promise this is the last time I'm going to have to recover this thing. This was not my intention. I promise. That was the same rock that flipped me over the first time just went over that like it was nothing of course still want to roll the recovery vehicle otherwise uh, yeah be in some serious trouble and of course now it's night time as well so that just adds oh. don't want to lose this thing down the hill how on earth am I going to recover this Huh. Yeah, might have to go. Might have to drag it a bit, unfortunately. It's the only way I can see it. I can't roll it back towards where it came because it would just roll back over again. So I'm gonna have to roll, try and drag it down the road a bit, and just hope that. Uh... Oops. Let's raise that grabbing, grabbing, grabber. Try and do a three point turn here without ending in disaster if we can. Okay, alright, excellent. So it looks about right. Okay, park brakes on. Okay, now let's attach the rope. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Park break. Get the park break off. Come on. I want to try and do minimal damage. <laughs> oh no, it's just dragging out along the roof. <laughs> oh no, look all that damage. Oh, almost had it that time too. Oh no. It's not looking good at all. Oh no. Come on. Yes! Okay. Alright, quick, quick, quick. Park right on. Disconnect the rope. Just gonna park up this uh, recovery vehicle. Hopefully for the last time. Ok, 
Okay, anyway. He is as good as any, I guess. Okay. Just gonna switch her off. Switch back to the old faithful. Let's go to the map. Let's just switch back to the other car. There we go. <laughs> oh no, look at that. That's got some visible damage there. It's not looking good at all. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, look at all that damage as well. I've got 200 points plus of damage. You know what? It's night time. I think I might just wait. Camp out here for the night. I don't want to tempt fate any further. So I'm just going to wait it out for a while. Uh, good news is... I haven't used much fuel. So... It's almost midnight, let's just, uh... Okay, 5 a.m. This will use 10 litres of fuel, that's fine. Mm. Not happy. Let's make it... <laughs> let's sleep in for a little bit. 7 o'clock. Okay. Here we go. Good as new. Almost. Alright, let's see if this thing will start. It's a new day, after all. What an eventful evening that was, and we haven't really gotten very far either, so... We've basically gotten from the garage, down the switchbacks, only, yeah, halfway down the switchbacks. <laughs> Almost completely ruined our car in the process. And we still have to cross the little river crossing, and then up the trail to the other garage. Alright, let's see how we go. <laughs> Trap. Come on, old girl, let's go. Oh. Fingers crossed, eh? It's not looking good already. I think we're caught on a rock or something. Oh, this is horrible. I feel sorry for the old little car. Two wheel drive at the moment, I'm just gonna see how far we can get. I know, I know, I'm taking a shortcut again. I never learn apparently. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, it's alright, it's all good. Let's go, let's go. Whoa! <laughs> Getting some air there. Wah. You know, I feel strangely like uh, Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura right now when uh, he was driving that Land Rover, <laughs> getting all that air. <laughs> I'm just going to go through these rocks, Ooh, through the water. That wasn't much of a river crossing after all, so oh well. More rocks, oops, should really be going slower over these. Alright, got a bit of a hill coming up. And we've just lost the asphalt, so let's engage four-wheel drive. Come on! The hill! It's not a bad little vehicle, this one. Although, if you've played spin tires, you'll know that this track is probably one of the more forgiving tracks, you know? Definitely haven't seen any deep mud or anything like that so far, so yeah. This vehicle is well suited. Of course, you just have to know how to navigate switchbacks without rolling over repeatedly in the space of uh, half a mile. <laughs> if you can do that, then this vehicle is not a bad little option. Oh, those wheels spinning like crazy. You know, I think we're almost there. I think I'm going to make this into a multi-part video, so let's call it Conquering the Hill. Now, the first part, of course, involves completely demolishing your uh, vehicle on the switchbacks, like we've done in this video. Just kidding, of course, uh, this video involves unlocking the timber vehicles. The subsequent parts can involve uh, sort of driveway is this. We've really got to do something about this driveway. Okay, we made it. 
Awesome. Uh, we haven't unlocked the garage because I think we need garage a garage trailer from memory. It's been a while since I've played this game. Since I've played this game, so uh, you have to forgive me. Here we go. Yeah. B130 is unlocked. Uh, what's going on with that trailer? It's in the air. Oh. Another one. Another B130. Okay, so these are the vehicles we'll need for getting the lumber. Oh, all the all the timber on this map. So um, I'll save that for subsequent videos. And we'll make this a little multi-part episode sort of thing. Okay, I'm not going to give this uh, little car any more abuse. I think I've <laughs> given it enough abuse already. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we've made it across to the second garage. Um, and you can see there's uh, fuel points and timber points as well. So um, there you go, there's the lumber. And there's still quite a bit of locked areas on the gr on the map as well. So um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll cover this in future videos along with lots of other things to come. Uh, in the new year. So thanks again uh, for your patience um, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers!